Hey everyone, CJ here with Diode Dynamics. Today, I'm excited to show you how to install our all new D-Switch controller and hub. Let's get to it. Start by opening the hood and locate a suitable mounting spot for your D-Switch hub. In this vehicle, we'll be mounting it to the fuse box cover. The hub includes three different mounting solutions to fit your application needs. You can choose between pointed screws, M5 bolts, or for a simpler installation, our mounting tape strips. If you're using the included 3M strips, apply them to the back of the hub, peel the backing, and press it firmly onto your mounting location. It should be noted for all of our mounting solutions, be sure to overhang the wire opening to allow for ease of install later on. If you opt for one of our other including mounting options, like we are, remove the fuse box cover to prevent damage when mounting the hub. For traditional screws, position the hub to the desired location, then install the screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. If you're using M5 bolts, mark the bolt locations with the hub, then drill out the holes for mounting. After drilling, insert the bolts and tighten the nuts with an 8mm ratchet and wrench. Now, reinstall the fuse box cover. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the battery terminal connections on the D-switch hub to mount your battery cables. Then, connect the wire to the battery using the appropriate size tool for your application. For this Tacoma, we'll be using a 12mm socket. You can now connect the extension wire or controller to the hub by aligning the connector colors and ensuring the logos or arrows face the same direction. If you're only using the Bluetooth app, connect the controller and tuck it away from any hot or moving parts. If you're mounting this inside the vehicle, locate a suitable spot for mounting. In this Tacoma, we will mount it above the factory switches. For mounting your controller, you can choose between the included universal mount or flush mount option. If you're using our flush mounting option, proceed to the timestamp below. If you're using our universal bracket, mount the switch to the provided bracket by routing the wires through it. Then, use a T10 Torx bit to install the four screws into the back of the controller. Next, attach the vehicle side bracket to the controller using the provided M5 nuts and bolts. Tighten them with an 8mm socket and ratchet, but do not fully tighten to allow for adjustments later. Once the bracket is mounted, mark the holes for the mounting bolts. Then, remove any panels needed to access the back of the mounting location, ensuring adequate space. Next, use a 7 8 drill bit to drill a hole for the D-switch harness. Once drilled, feed the wiring through and mount the D-switch using the provided screws or M5 bolts. If you're flush mounting your controller, start by using the included universal bracket to mark the drilling points. Then, remove any panels needed to access the back of the mounting location, ensuring adequate space. With the panels removed and the mounting area fully accessible, use a 7 8 inch drill bit for the wiring, followed by a 9 64 inch drill bit for the mounting screws.
With the holes in place, secure the controller to the surface using a T10 Torx bit. It should be noted if the mounting surface is thicker than the screws included, you may need to use longer M3 by 0.5 screws for a secure fit. Once the switch is mounted, connect your extension wire and route the harness to the switch. In this case, we routed it along the cowl and through the firewall near the driver's side. Now, connect your extension to the D-switch and reassemble any panels that were removed. With the hub and controller installed, begin connecting your outputs by loosening the positive and negative terminals with a Phillips head screwdriver. Then, insert the corresponding positive and negative wires into the terminals and tighten them back down. If your accessory includes a backlight, follow the same steps to connect it to the dedicated backlight bus bar. If you're using any of our activation wires, connect the harness now. For this install, we will connect the night mode wire to the parking circuit using the provided T-tap. Reference the install guide for wiring up the other sensor wires and ignition wire. Once completed, zip tie any wiring away from any hotter moving parts, then test for function. If you're using the Bluetooth app, connect it and test for functionality as well. Be sure to watch the app overview video linked in the description below to learn more about customizing your setup. Once you have verified functionality, you can apply the stickers to the corresponding outputs. And that wraps it up. As you can see, not only is this install super simple, but you also have full control and customization of all your 12-volt accessories at your fingertips. If you're looking to pick up a D-Switch for your ride or any of our other products, be sure to visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. And if you want to stay up to date on any new or future products, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.